Okay, there you are. Welcome to Zen Fits here in Blackstone, Virginia, the center of the world. I just, I just did this whole talk, and I looked, and I forgot to plug it in, plug my mic and everything, and it was no sound on it. So I just put it on. Uh, I just sent it to myself. Nobody can see it. So if you, any of you started to see this, I had no sound. So here we are. It's a fresh talk. I have no idea what we're doing here. <laughs> anyway, the title of this talk is Je suis Hote. Je suis Hote. J E S U I S Hote. H O T E I. Hote. Je suis is French for I am. Hote is that fat little Chinese laughing Buddha that everyone likes and he, he morphed to Japan and he morphed to America and has different meanings in different places. But he originated in China and he was basically kind of like this, uh, this uh, uh, enlightened uh, little uh, mendicant or, or we, in America we'd call him a bum. <laughs> a bum, you see, a hobo with a, with a with a stick over his shoulder with his sack, you know, and uh, he goes through the marketplace laughing and giving food or gifts or boons uh, to the people, you see. But he's always laughing. And uh, uh, here's Hote. we all seen this. He's got a fat little belly, and he's always laughing. And I always wondered, you know, what is he holding his hands like that for? Is he holding up something? What, what is that? Well, he is holding up something, but you can't see it. He's holding up the world, but it's empty. That's why he laughs. But he's full. His belly's full of prana, energy. And he's holding up the world, but it's empty. So he's free. He's laughing. He's empty full. He's empty full. And so I said, uh, um, uh, um, I call it just sui hoti because uh, uh, when I was, um, you know, night now, before tw 2013, I was skinny as a rail. That was 10 years ago. Now I got a, now I got a belly. And I can't get rid of it. Of course, I'm taking hormone treatment uh, for prostate cancer, which <laughs> fattens the belly. Gives you little breasts, too, and hot flashes, so I'm half female and half male. Uh, <laughs> but I always was androgynous. But anyway. So now I'm realizing, oh, what the hell, I'll just be Hote. You know, instead of trying to say, oh, I've got a big belly, I'm so embarrassed. No, no. Hote has a big belly. My guru had it, Swami Moktananda had a big belly. And I said, well, why does he, he doesn't, you know, why does he have a big belly? And his guru, Nichinanda, had a big belly. I said, what does he got a big belly for? Oh, that's prana. That's energy, stores energy like a battery. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's what I got. <laughs> Turn the negative into a positive. And <laughs> anyway, and so when did Hote start coming to me? Anyway, I don't remember, but it must have been over ten, ten to, uh, maybe fifteen years ago or something. But uh, um, one day I went to the landfill, and there was uh, a weighing station, a little shack, and a little fat-bellied man in there, kind of the threshold guardian. I call him Ganesh, and uh, there was a little, uh, some Donald Ducks and stuff he'd found in the landfill, and there was this statue, and there was this dirty old statue sitting in the corner, and I looked at it, oh, what is that? That's Hote, that's Buddha. So I, I, I bargained with him, and I ended up by, by finally getting, uh, giving him $40 for it. He didn't know what it was, nobody in there knew where it was. And I thought, oh, it might be ivory, but it wasn't. It's some kind of poured rosin. It's very heavy. But there's no uh, maiden and so and so on here. There's no author. There's no code or anything. Why did this Hote, somebody, it, this Hote found me in Blackstone all the way and found me here in Blackstone and came to me. Somebody threw him away. Who knows where he came from, what his story was, how old he's here, but he found me. And so uh, from then on, hotes have been coming to me. Uh, people give me hotes. And uh, I've got uh, a big fat one on the front porch and another one on the front porch. And they, they, they scare away the, uh, the witnesses and the Mormons <laughs> and the Christians. Uh, uh, and I give them away. I have little... Uh, 
Yeah, the receiving. See that? There we go. I get a pack of these on Amazon. They don't cost that much. You know, people come to visit, and we kind of resonate. You know, I say, "Oh, I have something for you," and they hold out their hand, and I put a whole tea in it. It's kind of like chocolate. Whoops! I'll pick it up. It's kind of like chocolate. You know, you never know what you're going to get. You don't know what kind of hotel you're going to get. You see, and uh, one time. Some years ago, a, a Christian expert came, a lady who writes books, big authority on Christianity. She came, and she brought a bag of books, and she was going to convert us. You know, I was doing yoga then and all that. And so, uh, anyway, she, after about a couple hours, uh, <laughs> made my wife mad, and I was just like a duck. It washed off me. And uh, so she said, can I come back? And I said, well, yes, you can come back, but don't bring your agenda. And she said, well, I can't do that. And so uh, as she was leaving, I said, oh, I have something for you. And so she, uh, she held out her hand, and I came up like this, and I, I put the hote in it. <gasps> and she jerked back, and, like, and, and I don't know if it flew out of her hand, but it was like I'd put a turd in her hand. She went run, almost ran out the door, never saw her again. <laughs> so, so if you want to keep away, the, keep away the unwanted visitors, you know, just get a hote. They really work. So anyway, I said, je suis hote. Uh, je suis hote. I remember when, uh, you remember when uh, uh, there was a publishing company, a cartoon company in France, and, and uh, they published a, a satirical picture of Muhammad, and the, and the Muslims shot him up, and the people rose up, and they had signs saying, je suis Charlie. Je suis Charlie. And that's where I found out what je suis meant. So that's where I came Je suis Hote. So Hote is, um, you know, has, has migrated in America. Uh, I just realized today as I was writing about Apple, looking about apples, is that Johnny Appleseed is an, is an American Hote. Johnny Appleseed is, is an original Hote. He, he was, of course, he was copied after a real person, but the mythical Johnny Appleseed wears a tin hat and he goes through through the world giving, throwing away, seeding apples. Uh, he doesn't get any money from them. He has no, uh, he has no uh, uh, utility, no, no reason to do it. He just gives away apple seeds uh, and grows to grow apple in your community, to grow an apple tree in your life, you see. And he, and, he, and he has a tin hat, which is uh, basically his bowl that he eats from. He's a mendicant. He's a hote. Call him a bum, you see. A homeless wanderer who gives away seeds of life. Who gives away, of course, the mythological apple. You see, I've been, been following the apple and killing Eve. And going back to Genesis and the apple tree in the garden and all that, you see, the apple, um, it's got a lot of depth to it, I, you know. But anyway, everyone has their own version of Hote. Uh, uh, so that's what I was uh, getting, getting kind of drunk on today, <laughs> was Je suis Hote. Thanks for dropping in.